What's up, Little Pops? It's Beat Grummy here. As you can tell from the beginning scene, uh, we're talking about Legion today. Um, I'm going to go over Titan kits that I believe work best for Legion, um, as well as the Titanfall kit and the Legion kits. Um, I guess we're just going to jump right into it. <laughs> All right, um, for Legion, Assault Ship and Stealth Auto Eject, exactly the same as North Star, completely useless, never use these. Um, I like running Turbo Engine as he doesn't have a dash to start out with, so this gives him a dash. It makes it easier for you to get back into cover or pop out somewhere where someone wouldn't normally uh, think you're there faster, so it gives you that extra edge of a split second. Um, Overcore, don't really run it. Um, I don't, I don't really recommend it for Legion. It works fine, I guess. It's not the greatest one to run for him because his, um, you get his core very quickly anyway. So running over core isn't really all that helpful. Um, nuclear ejection, never run this on a slow Titan like Legion or Scorch. No reason to. You can't get in close enough for this to be effective. Um, sometimes, yeah, you could probably catch someone off guard if you're uh, getting behind them, but it's just not worth it in the end. Um, counter ready, again, not super useful unless you're getting pushed by a Ronin or something. You can pop it and then back out. I only use this every once in a while. Um, not a huge fan of it. It's just not my thing. As for the Legion kits, um, I really like running enhanced ammo capacity. It gives you the extra 40 rounds so you can use your long range uh, mode longer. Um, when you switch to long range mode, you use uh, every shot takes two bullets, so you go through your magazine much faster. So having this, um, if you're always, if you notice you're always on uh, long range mode, super helpful. Um, sensor array, smart core lasts longer. This is helpful for people who are able to get in behind the enemies who are able to drop their titan super fast. If you can get your core fast enough and the enemy team doesn't have their titans up, turning this on and just kind of walking through the map killing everything that your smart core can see is awesome. Just racks up the points for you in attrition. As for bulwark, um, I used it a little bit, might need to do a little bit more testing, but it's not, uh, it's not super useful. It's it works, but it's just not something that I would really use over anything else. Um, it's just not super effective. Lightweight alloys, again, it says you move faster while your predator cannon is spun up. It's not fast enough to warrant using. It's faster, just it, it doesn't matter. If you have a dash, this becomes basically pointless. As for the hidden compartment, I kind of find myself going back from hidden compartment and enhanced ammo capacity all the time. These two are my go-tos. Um, a lot of the time, uh, people won't suspect you having this, so hitting them with the first power shot, shooting them, and just as you're about to run out of ammo, hitting them with another one and then reloading, just extra damage, not a bad choice at all. As for the Titanfall kit, Always stick with Dome Shield. He's a large Titan, so if you drop him in battle with Warp Fall, you're just going to take unnecessary damage. I never use Warp Fall. Same as North Star, just not something I plan on using all the time. Um, you can use it to crush Titans, but like again, like I said with my North Star um, videos, you just it's it happens so rarely. There's no point running Warp Fall. You're just gonna you're putting yourself at a disadvantage, losing health before you're even inside your Titan. Don't use it. Always use Dome Shield. All right, what's up, little pups? Uh, so today we're gonna drop into an LTS game. Um, basically, what's gonna happen is we're gonna go over how to use Legion. I'm gonna go over my thoughts on how to use him properly and how to use him effectively on the battlefield. Let's jump into it. All right, so we're on forward base Kodai. Um, I know we're gonna be engaging people from a long range, so I'm gonna switch modes. Basically, uh, I like to, like I said with my North Star video, I like to go guard a battery because I know at least one will gravitate towards trying to grab the battery first. Looks like my buddy Jake's got this one though. Let's head up top. Alright, I did my damage, now I gotta back up. This guy out. He's gonna be really hurting. Let my teammates finish him off. Basically, as a legion, you want to play as support. 
Um, play up front, take some damage, deal as much as you can, move on to the next guy. Let's help out our North Star down here. Or, sorry, our Ronin. Where's Last Titan? Alrighty, good round. So, what I like to do is, because I was going up against that Legion, the reason I waited to engage him, um, I was hiding behind that pillar, is because I knew I didn't have my shield up, and I would just be taking unnecessary damage. If I can hide behind something and then wait for my shield to be up, then push him, because I know he has his up, then he's just going to take the full damage, and I'll take relatively none. I am running my two favorite Titan kits. Um, I like to run the extra boost because he doesn't start with one, so having that extra boost so I can get, a, get away from someone or pop out where someone wouldn't expect me faster than normal is just super helpful. Uh, there is someone there. Got a Ronin and a Tone. Use this. Is it going to help out our run in here? Oh, there he goes, running. I am in a terrible spot right now, but I know I got teammates coming, so I'm all right. All right, now that we've doomed that, doomed that run in, let's move on. As Legion, you want to constantly be pushing because it forces the enemy to be pushed back. Alright, that tone is doomed. He really can't do anything right now. Our only problem is that Legion, but I believe I'm, I should be able to outplay him. Missed him, that's alright. Yeah, there's the Legion. He's waiting for me. Legion down. I am getting attacked by a pilot, that's alright though. He knows I know exactly where he is. I guess he didn't really want to move. Alright, where's Last Titan? Right now I'm looking at my mini-map, checking where my teammates are, because they're most likely going to be finding him. He's not happy that I know how to get around the shield. And another round win. This is going very well for my team. The tone didn't know I was there, so he basically loses. He's really not happy that I was able to get around that. That's alright, I'll be going over how to get around uh, this, the, sorry, <laughs> I'm actually, in one of my videos I'll be going over how to get around Legion Shield as other Titans. It's not very easy as, say, a tone. It's very easy as another legion to get around the shield. Alright, so this is how you're going to get around um, the legion shield. So, Jake, can you put up the, the shield? Alright, so now that you notice this part is kind of peeking out, what you want to do is put up your shield and always go to the right of him. That way you're always gonna, going to be able to hit him somewhere around the shield. It's a lot of the times you'll see when he reloads and his shield is up, you'll be able to hit his legs. Uh, reload, Jake. You can almost always hit his feet. It doesn't really matter. Um, a lot of people find it really hard to get around Legion Shield, but if you know what you're doing, getting around his shield and stuff isn't a hard thing to do. 
Gonna help out our run in here. Power shot, doomed, he's dead. I'm gonna go for the battery. So I know my team has me. Going for batteries in this is really risky. Risk reward type situation, you need to be careful on how you're doing it. That was really good damage. He's down. Pilot dead. And that's going to be a win. But at the end of the day, that's how you LTS with uh, Legion. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.